fifth race field. One is Gust of Dare, owned by Kaufman and Settlemore. Kane Kaufman, two is out. Three is Maximum Revenge, owned by Gary Adams with Jim Daly. Four is Siouxland Big Chief, owned by Richard Eilert and Harold King, Todd Jones. Five is Top Shelf, owned by Charles Drogi with Greg Grismore. Lock and Load from is the six, owned by Bam Racing Stables and Mel Ravello, Kyle Ader. Seven is Beaumont, owned by Robert Grubaugh Jr., Dean Collins up. The eight is Dare Ucori, owned by Darby's Edge Stable and Enviro Stables Limited, Jeff Fout. Nine is the Smackdown Stables Urban Good Friday and Jeff Nysonger. And the ten is Majestic Lance, owned by Douglas Riston with Justin Hall. Post time in just five minutes. Don't get shut out. Five. There they go. And they're off. Siouxland Big Chief goes right out and takes the lead. Dare you, Corey, left well from the outside. Gust of Dare is prominent nearest the pylons. And then we have Urban Good Friday in fourth position. Majestic Glance is fifth by two. Maximum Revenge is racing in sixth by the same, followed by Top Shelf, Lock and Load. And Beaumont is gapped out three lengths, trailing the field as they roll to the top of the stretch. And Jeff Fout guides Dare you, Corey, to the front in 26 and four. Passing the stands, it's Dare you, Corey, in command here by a length and a half. Siouxland Big Chief follows the pace setter in second, followed by Urban Good Friday, who's hung out third. Along the pylons, Gust of Dare is racing in fourth position. Majestic Glance is fifth. Top shelf underway on the outside, just about catching cover in sixth. Then we come down to Maximum Revenge, just inside of Lock and Load, who starts to pick it up. And Beaumont trails the field, nine off the lead. They hit halftime with Dare Corey showing the way in 56 and three. Off the turn and down the back stretch. It's Dare you, Corey by a length and a quarter with Siouxland Big Chief tracking from the pocket in second. Gust of Dare is third. Urban Good Friday racing idle between horses fourth. Three wide. Sent off cover is top shelf on the far outside ranging up. And Lock and Load comes into contention on the far outside as well. Then it's Majestic Glance, Beaumont, and Maximum Revenge is last. They hit the three quarters with Dare you, Corey trying to go all the way here. Leads top shelf by a length in 126 and 1. Moving around to the top of the stretch. It's Dare you, Corey by a length and a quarter. Siouxland Big Chief remains in the pocket. Top shelf is fading between horses. And off stride goes Dare you, Corey. And he forced lock and load way out wide. Turning down the stretch. Siouxland Big Chief inherits the lead. Has it by two. Gust of Dare shakes loose. Late pace, majestic glance. Siouxland Big Chief, majestic glance. Siouxland Big Chief in front. Majestic Glance, Gust of Dare, 156 and 3. Back to the winner's circle is number four, Siouxland Big Chief. Third victory of the season, 156 and 3. A five year old son of Native Reward out of Robin LaRue by Brett LaRue. Owned by Richard Eilert and Harold King of Ohio, James Banky II is the winning trainer, and Todd Jones is the winning driver. In the winner's circle, helping to make the trophy presentation, her final night here at Scioto Downs, and our employee at least, Nurse Mary Garrity. Exacta 410 returns $336.60. The Tri 410 won $3,079 even. And down in the winner's circle, is our nurse Mary Garrity. Track records are made to be broken, but there's one at Scioto that'll probably stand for a long, long time. Uh, Mary's been the RN here at the track for 42 years. She's retiring tonight. She didn't work the two-week meet when Scioto opened, but she's been a member of the staff since the first full meet was conducted in 1960. She graduated from Mount Carmel School of Nursing in 1942. Mary's duties in four decades at the racetrack have ranged from treating scrapes and headaches to dealing with life-threatening conditions. The nurse has grown to love the sport of racing. She's an avid handicapper, as we all know. And rumors that she was uh, seen smuggling a self-bed machine out of the building have proven to be false. Nurse Mary will be missed, but we're pretty confident that we'll see her at the races quite often. And we know she'll enjoy her retirement. In the winter circle along with her, 
are her daughter and son-in-law, Susan and Walter, her daughters, uh, granddaughters, Gretchen, Rachel, Jennifer, and John, and about half the staff. Congratulations, Mary Garrity.